It's one of the most crushing defeats in American history. Custer's last stand. June 25th, 1876. Lieutenant Colonel George Armstrong Custer and over 600 troopers of the 7th United States Cavalry arrive in the Little Bighorn Valley of Southern Montana. The cavalry has come to subdue a village of defiant Indians. Thousands of Sioux and Cheyenne under the leadership of the great holy man, Sitting Bull. For a century, the United States has pushed the frontier west, herding tribe after tribe onto agencies or reservations. The Sioux and the Cheyenne don't want to give up their land on the northern plains. These last defiant Indians gather into a colossal wandering village. In the spring of 1876, the village arrives on the plains of Montana. The village was always on the move. They knew the army was out after them. And to the United States Army, to capture a fleeing village was an impossible task. Custer follows Sitting Bull's path west across the Wolf Mountains. On the other side, the Indian village stands on the banks of a slender river. The Indians call it the Greasy Grass. The Army calls it the Little Bighorn. On the morning of June 25th, Custer and his troops arrive in a treacherous landscape carved up into hidden channels and ravines. Perfect cover for fighters who know its contours. Deadly for the soldiers who don't. Around noon, Custer makes what many believe is his fatal mistake. He divides his forces into three separate columns. Custer heads up the bluffs along the river to attack from the north. It's his first clear look at the size of the village. He realizes he doesn't have enough troops to do the job. He sends a rider south with a note calling for more men and more ammo. It's important to keep in mind that no one had any idea of how many Indians there would be. They simply had no idea. Indians are surrounding Colonel George Armstrong Custer and his battalion. Survivors are struggling to join up with other troopers on nearby high ground, a spot now called Last Stand Hill. The tables are turning for Custer. He's no longer the attacker, he's being attacked. The size to take this high hill, which we call Last Stand Hill today. All the soldiers killed their horses to hide behind. A lot of the warriors said was they got close to this hill, they arched their arrows high into the sky, having those arrows come down behind those dead horses. They said, we rained arrows down on those men. Their shots quit coming, and we rushed up and we killed them all. Lieutenant Colonel George Custer and over 200 of his men annihilated in a defeat that devastated America in 1876. This battle, the Battle of the Little Bighorn, was the Plains Indians' greatest victory. This caused the government to send out more forces, more military. Less than a year after the battle, Sitting Bull flees to Canada, and Crazy Horse surrenders in Nebraska. The last stand has been studied more closely than almost any military engagement in our history. Today, the battlefield still lies serene and empty above the cottonwood trees lining the Little Bighorn River. USS Enterprise had proven her steel at the Battle of Midway. But the Big E is about to face her greatest challenge yet, invasion at a place called Guadalcanal.